we want to have a quick talk or discussion about uh, a topic that's been coming up a bit lately is jealousy in dogs. So when we talk about this, we're going to specifically, or I'm going to specifically talk about our working dogs or our working dog breeds, our protection breeds. So I'm not referring here to your small Yorkie or which when they are jealous does not really pose such a threat or such a difficult situation in the home. So uh, first I'm going to start with there has been some research done on this topic and about uh, if dogs actually feel that emotion of jealousy like we as humans perceive it. So yes, there has been um, MRI scans done on parts of the brain that does activate when dogs uh, go through any social emotions, which indicate, yes, the dogs do have that feeling. So they do feel jealous in the way that we would perceive jealousy. <laughs> okay, so it becomes a problem when the jealousy is no longer cute uh, because we all know when we see dogs do these kind of behaviors, we laugh and, oh, look how jealous my dog is and he's pushing the other dog away for attention and stuff. But these kind of stuff can really um, come out of hand. Um, so mostly when owners or people contact me about this, to me it's a warning sign. Uh, it's a warning sign that there's a little bit of a problem in the relationship <clears throat> overall because uh, generally you will not allow your dog to um, make or indicate the rules of the house to you. Um, so basically what they do is they'll say <clears throat> no or they claim you in a way. So they will say no, this dog is not allowed to get your attention. And no, you can't spend time with this dog. You have to give me attention. You have to do this with me. And it starts with it being cute or very subtle. And then as the dog sees it can get away with it, it becomes worse. And it becomes can get to a stage where these dogs fight with the other dogs. They will sometimes get um, aggressive towards the owners who want to try and correct the whole situation. They can become uh, destructive and uh, start chewing on things and becoming very, very irritated and very uh, difficult to manage. So this can really have a negative impact in the family in general. I mean, it really becomes a problem. It's stressful for the owners. And if you are not a dog trainer or don't have the experience, especially when it comes to your breeds like your Belgian Malinois or your German Shepherds, it really feels that uh, you feel like you don't know what to do anymore and why is this cute dog that's not really aggressive towards the family all of a sudden can show these aggressive behaviors and biting his friend, uh, which you associate as his friend, now all of a sudden. So usually what happens is, um, to me, sometimes this kind of behavior can be more of a thing where it's a resource guarding. So the owner is such an important uh, part of the dog's life and such an important resource to the dog. Because if you think about it, the owner is the one that gives the food, gives the attention, gives the shelter, gives everything. So it's the, to the dog, the owner becomes a very, very important part of its life. And they sometimes they can feel they need to protect this. Or not just feel that they need to protect it, feel that they can protect this. Uh, if there is a little bit of a relationship problem in the house in general, where the dog thinks it can do these kind of things without consequences or that the human is not the natural leader and that the dog can get away with these kind of behaviors. Um, you also see resource guarding where other things like food, toys, I mean, we've all seen it. Like uh, the dog has got his food bowl. None of the other dogs is allowed to come near it or the dog is lying on its bed. The other dogs aren't allowed there. And sometimes these kind of things can also happen like when the dog is lying on the bed, you've heard many times where people say they can't even get into their own bed because the dog has claimed that space or claimed that bed. So this is more or less the same situation is happening here. But now all of a sudden the dog has claimed the owner and is also dictating to all the other dogs that this is his, this is his resource and that the other dog should back off. So also when the other dogs do not back off, this can then lead to fights and it's really, really a stressful thing to deal with in that. Okay, so now if you think like this is what's happening in your relationship with your dog, so let's talk about some things you can do to help and better the situation or stop the situation. So firstly, the first thing you do is you're going to manage the situation. 
Um, there's small things, especially when it comes to Malinois, stuff that you have to remember. It's like playing with all the dogs at once <laughs> is not a good idea because it's going to lead to competition and stuff. So if you want to play with your Malinois, put the other ones away and play with one dog at a time. So there's a part of managing the problem. Um, some dogs just are so possessive over that time with you or that toy that having to share it with another dog is just not on. So you have to remember that these dogs also get bred for this possessiveness. We use it for training, we use it for working. So it's really unfair putting the dog in a situation where the dog now has to play with another dog. And as the they play and stuff escalates, these things can lead to fights. And it's just really, really unnecessary. So play with your dogs one at a time. And then if it is food, sometimes this happens when the dogs get fed or stuff like this. Feed your dogs in their crates. Uh, feed your dogs separately. Have some rules when it comes to feeding time. Sit, wait, some obedience. So that is how you can just start by managing the problem. And also, like, if the dog comes up and is wanting that affection or that excessive neediness to want your attention, best is to not reward that behavior. And by not rewarding that behavior, is we're not going to give the dog affection for it. So or attention. So when the dog comes and asks for that excessive attention, best to chase the dog away. Say, no, go away. And the same is when you're giving another dog attention. Don't let the younger dog come and dictate that you are not allowed to give attention to the older dog. And that is just going to cause a whole lot of problems in the whole system of your house. So let the younger dog learn to give space to whoever you want to give attention, chase them away. Then if if you are facing this problem, the only thing that really will help is getting professional help. And that means getting a trainer involved to help you sort out your relationship problem with your dog. And this can mean things like obedience training. Yes, I know your dog might have obedience training in a certain way, but you need to understand that the dog needs to listen to you at all times. You need to be able to give the dog commands and the dog follows that command. So that also helps a lot with your your relationship or your bond in general with that specific dog and the problem. Then uh, one of the biggest reasons for this re relationship problem is if you look deeper into the situation and you ask the owners, what is your general routine with your dog? What is, how are things happening in the house? You will find out that the dog does not have any rules, any boundaries, um, allowing your dog to jump on you disrespectful even if dogs jump onto older dogs they get corrected for that because the older dogs see that it's very disrespectful unless they are playing so small things like that have boundaries in place don't give the dogs attention when they come and like excessively seek that like i've said before make the dog do things in order to get that affection from you make him sit down move his body let him listen to those commands and then give the affection accordingly. Don't allow the dog to jump onto your furniture, jump on top of your wife, on top of your children. That's also very, very disrespectful. There has to be some rules and some boundaries in general, not just towards the attention-seeking or the jealousy, but the dog's rules in the house as general. Uh, it usually this kind of situations happen when people bring in a younger dog. And the younger dog does this because people tend to feel sorry for the dog and it's young and it's a new dog and they love the dog. And and then this new young dog just completely takes over because there is just no rules for her. And she thinks or they think that they are more important than the older dogs. They can get away with stuff that the older dogs can't. So it's important to keep those rules and those routines going, even if you get a young dog in. I mean, the young dog... It's, even though you might love it more, <laughs> it still needs to know that it is the younger dog in the family. It's like giving your kid the same access or the same privileges as, as your mother, for instance. It doesn't work. The younger dog needs to know how things work in the house and that there has to be respect and respect for all family members as well. So, this is just like a few things on the top of my head that I can think of. But to me, and keep this in mind, jealousy, yes, dogs feel jealous. But 
how do we allow that behavior to escalate? That is what is important about it. It's not a funny thing. So if you do see this kind of behavior in your dogs, then laugh about it and think how cute this, oh, it's so cute, so jealous, it wasn't spending time with me. Yes, but at the same time, you're allowing the dog to dictate. You're allowing the dog to make rules in the family. You're allowing the dog to correct the other dogs, which is really not what is supposed to be happening. You are supposed to do these things. So I hope that this gives you a little bit of insight, especially when it comes to your uh, stronger breed, like your protection breed, on how to deal with things like jealousy. But if you are not a dog trainer or a professional, then these kind of behaviors, you will need some help in how to deal with them and how to make the relationship better in general. Yes.